I'm Johnny. And it's time to collect. Kitty collect. Okay, so there's this game. It's called Neko Tsume. And the premise of the game is very simple. You have a yard, you have some cat toys, and you put cat toys and cat food in the yard, and kitties come visit you. When there's no more food in the yard, kitties stop coming to visit you. I don't know why or how, but this game is one of the most strangely compelling games I have played in a really long time. It's one of those free-to-play games, except it's actually free to play and it's not free to play in that pay to win kind of way either you can shoot them a couple of dollars and get yourself some more in-game currency but you don't have to it's entirely possible that within a week you can get the same amount of money just by playing the game as spending four dollars Currency doesn't express itself in monetary terms only. Time is also money. And the total amount of time that you may put into this game is on the order of minutes a day. Like, I'm not even kidding. The game doesn't reward you constantly coming back every three minutes. The game does, however, reward you coming back every, oh, I don't know, half an hour, hour, six hours. And that's kind of important because a lot of games are all about getting you back and keeping you in the seat and hoping that you're a whale. Okay, so what's a whale? That's what the totally dickball freemium game developers call people who will throw lots and lots of money at a game in order to win. Game developers and industrial psychologists throw a whole bunch of time at finding whales and keeping whales. The whole freemium Skinner box game design thing that's been going on since at least Farmville, but probably earlier, is skingy as fuck and frankly quite unethical. The Extra Credits guys have a lot to say about this, and they're pretty solid game designers, so you should go listen to them and probably not to me, because they know their shit. But I digress. Neko Utsumi is not like that. In fact, I kind of see Neko Utsumi as a way for present me to make future me just a little bit happier, because future me gets to see a new kitty do something cute with a new toy. Like, there is zero commitment. And the joy just comes down like manna from heaven. Honestly, the only way they could make this game any better is if they made it with bunnies. You know I was going to say that. And one of the really fascinating things about this is the level of fandom that this game has garnished. Like, it's crazy. I kind of want to rant about it, but it's almost better if you just download the game. It's for iPhone or Android and go experience it for yourself and experience the horror. The tubby horror. Long story short, Neko Sumi is hitting the peak of the culture right now, and this is a rabbit hole you don't want to miss. Check it out. I've been remiss not telling you about it earlier. All right, just a quick update. I found a very interesting Vaporwave artist. If you don't know what Vaporwave is, go check out my episode on that. It's pretty nut bar. Links to this crazy new artist down in the doobly-doo. And until next time, kitty collecting is fun.